Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So today we are going to cover quite an interesting problem, minimum operations to make array equal. The input given here is an integer array n and we have to return the minimum number of operations needed to make all the elements of array equal. And there are certain constraints that is the values of array will be in the form of 2 star i plus 1 where i is the index of the given array and we can make or perform operations in such a way that we can choose any two indexes of given array and subtract one element and add the other element at the indexes. So let's see how are we going to do it. Before going to the logic, let's understand this problem with a small example. Consider n is equal to 3. So the index of array is going to be from 0 to 2. And the values should be represented in the form i star 2 plus 1. So let's fill in the values. It is going to be 1, 3 and 5. So now you have to make all the elements in the array equal. So in this case, you have to pick two elements and add one to one element and subtract one to the other element. So let's say we are going to pick 1 and 5. So let's add 1 to 1 and subtract 1 to 5 which means the array is going to become 2, 3 is going to be the same and 5 is going to subtract by 1. So again pick the same elements that is 2 and 4 at index 0 and 2. Add one element to the first index and subtract one element to the value at index 2. So then the array is going to become 3, 3 and 3. So, so far we have used two operations that are the minimum number of operations we require to convert all the elements in the array equal. So, that is going to be our output. So, let's see how are we are going to approach this. So, consider this input n is equal to 7 which means the size of the array. So, the indexes of the array is going to start from 0 to 6. So, now let's fill in the values based on i into 2 plus 1. So yes, we have filled our values. So if you observe, these values are nothing but the pattern of sequence of odd numbers starting from 1 and ending till based on the values or size of the array given here. So clearly, the optimal solution is to fix the middle number as such and try to replace the rest of the numbers that is first half and the second half to the middle number. So by converting the first half and second off to the middle number will be the only way to get the optimal solution or the minimum operation required. So here if you see the middle number is 7 so we are going to convert the rest of the array to 7. So in this case first consider 5 and 9. So let's take 5 and 9 and convert it to 7. So we are going to add one number to 5 and subtract one number to 9. In this case it is going to become 6 and 8. So now further select the same numbers and add 1 and subtract 1. So now they both become 7 and now it's time to pick 3 and 11 and convert them to 7. So in this case 3 and 11 is going to become 4 and 10 first, 5 and 9, 6 and 8, 7 and 7. So moving on to our last numbers 1 and 13. So if we are picking them then the numbers are going to become. So now if you observe, to convert 5 and 9, it took us 2 steps. The same way to convert 3 and 11, it took 4 steps. And to convert 1 and 13, it took 6 steps. So they are nothing but the sequence of odd numbers. Starting from 0, 0 is to convert 7. No steps are required to convert 7 to 7. And then moving on to the next 2, 4, 6 and so on based on the size of the array. So here the number of steps it is going to take to per convert the first half of the array before the middle element is same as the top number of steps it took to convert the second half of the array because we are changing both the sides simultaneously. So ignore this step and just consider adding the number of steps to convert the first half of the array is enough. There are so many ways to calculate the sequence of even numbers according to the size. You can either use formula but here I'm going to use a simple trick that we just want the sequence of even numbers. So in this case if you observe the difference between 1 and 3 that is the element at index 1 and index 1 is going to be 2 and the difference between 7 and 3 is going to be 4 and the difference between 
11 and 5 is going to be 6 and so on. So in this case, I am going to consider only the even indexes. At even indexes, I am going to subtract the difference between the actual value and the index and the overall sum is equal to my minimum number of operations to make the array equal. So hope you are getting this solution. This solution actually runs in big O of n time as we are going to iterate our array only once. So let's go to the code now. So as I said, I am going to declare a variable sum to calculate the difference of the value and index at even in odd indexes. So as we are going to calculate only our odd indices, I am going to initiate my i to 1 and iterate every index plus 2. So in our example, we have compared the array's value with the index. But actually here we don't have the array's value but only the size of the array. So in this case, our sum is actually going to add n minus i because if your index is going to be size is going to be 7 then your i will be the odd numbers so how this will work actually if your n is equal to 7 then we are going to subtract it with the odd numbers so 7 minus 1 and it goes like 7 minus 3 and 7 minus 5 till 7 minus 7 and the values are going to be like 6 and 7 minus 3 is going to be 4 and 7 minus 5 is going to be 2 and 7 minus 7 is going to be 0. So it is going to be the reverse order of the odd sequences. So finally return sum. Hope you understood this simple implementation. So let's run. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. Hope I made it simple this time. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.